In this video, I'm going to show you how you can potentially make more money by selling in the money cover call options than selling cash to put options. I'm going to do that by sharing two trades I deal with you in the exact same underlying stock. One's a cover call and one's a cash to put option. The two options have the exact same expiration day and strike price. We're then going to compare the return of the out of money cash to put option against the in the money cover call to see which one has the potential to pay us the highest return. First, let's look at the cash care put option. Here's the trade we did about a week ago in CAG. We sold to open the CAG February 16th $28 cash secure put option. For that option, we're paid 40 cents per share. As you see here on January 11th, CAG was trading for just under $29 per share. So the $28 cash care put option strike price we sold was out of money by close to 80 cents per share. Here you see the potential return of this out of money cash care put option against CAG if it expired worthless. Remember we got 40 cents per share for selling the put option. And if we stayed in this trade until expiration day, we'd be in it for a total of 36 days. To annualize the return, we're going to multiply that times 365 days. That means if we were able to do a similar type of trade every 36 days, we pocket $4.05 per share for the year. Divide that by the $27.60 we had at risk since we sold the $28 cash care put option and got $0.40 cents up front. And you see that our analyzed return came in at 14.7%. Not a bad return. It beat the market in most years. But there's a potential to sweeten this pot a little bit. Remember, since we're doing a cash care put option, we haven't used our cash to buy the stock, so we should have some cash available sitting out there to receive some interest on. Now, whereas in my small ops trading account with E-Trade, I don't get paid interest, in my larger account in Interactive Brokers, I do get paid pretty decent interest. In fact, right now I'm getting right around 4.83% annualized. So if we add the interest that I should get on the cash I have sitting aside that's not being used right now, it would mean that I get around a 19.5% annualized return for this position. Now that's a good return. I'm very happy with that. But can we do better by doing a cover call option? And the answer is actually yes. Remember I mentioned to you that we don't get paid interest on the cash sitting in our account in my smaller account. And because of that, I tend to do more covered calls in that account right now. So here you see a cover call trade we did in CAG on the exact same day within just a few minutes of the cash care put option we sold in CAG. We bought to open 100 shares of CAG at $28.99 per share. I wanted to copy as much as possible that cash care put option trade that we did, so I sold the CAG February 16th $28 strike price cover call option and got $1.24 per share for that cover call option. So we're in the same stock, the same expiration day, February 16th, and the same strike price of $28. We're just doing a covered call here versus a cash and cure put option, the one that we just did. This covered call position resulted in a net debit of $27.75 per share. Since we sold the $28 covered call, if you do the math, we have a potential profit here of $0.25 cents per share on just this covered call. And that's important because I'm about to sweeten the pot for you here in just a second. Now, $0.25 cents per share is less than the $0.40 cents per share that we got for selling that cash or put option, but there's a kicker here. As I mentioned to my patrons when I sent this trade alert, CAG goes ex-dividend on the 29th. So that was about 18 days after we did this trade. I laid the two possible scenarios out there for my patrons. I told them one of two things would happen. I'm going to show you both potential returns with the two potential scenarios. The first one is that this cover call be a signed early because the person wanted to capture the dividend. And so we'd be out of this position before the ex-dividend date, which was only 18 days after we placed this trade. The other possible scenario was that the stock wasn't called away from us early due to dividend capture, so we stayed in this position through February 16th. We're able to collect not only the cover call premium, but also the 35 cent per share dividend. Let's look at the two potential returns with this cover call. The first one you see here is that the stock was called away early because the person who bought that call option from us called the stock away from us to capture the dividend. Remember, we're out of pocket $27.75 for this cover call position. If it was called away from us at $28 per share, then we'd realize a profit of $0.25 cents per share. Since it was called away early, we'd only be in this position for 16 days as compared to the full expiration cycle for this February option. If you analyze that return by multiplying times 365 days, and we're able to do this every 16 days for a year, then we'd pocket right at $5.70 per share for doing a similar type of cover call. Divide that by the $27.75 we had at risk, and we realize a 20.5% annualized return for doing this cover Call. But our profit gets even better if it's not called away from us early. And here you see that scenario. If it wasn't called away from us and we stuck with the position through February 16th, we get the 25 cent per share profit from the covered call, and we'd also get the 35 cent per share dividend. 
That means in all, if it was called away from us on February 16th, we would have pocketed 60 cents per share. We would have been in the position for 36 total days. And if we annualize that return by multiplying by 365 days, and we're able to do a similar trade every 36 days, we should pocket around $6.08 per share per year. Divide that by the $27.75 we had at risk initially, and we would realize a 21.9% annualized return for this cover call. Now let's compare these three returns side by side to see which one is the best. As you see here, by selling the cash secure put option, depending on if you get interest on your money or not, and it also depends on how much interest you would receive by your broker, you would have realized about a 14.7% return to at most a 19.5% return. And that return is annualized. If we switch over to the cover call and it's assigned early, then we see that return beats the cash care put option because we'd realize a 20.5% annualized return for that cover call if it was called away from us early. And finally, we get to the scenario if we did the cover call, it was called away from us on February 16th, and therefore we're able to also pocket the dividend. That scenario would pay us the highest annualized return of 21.9%. There are various reasons why you might decide to do a cash care put option versus a cover call. So as you see here with this scenario, our highest return was actually by doing a cover call. And that's the case even if it was called away from us early. If you'd like to get an alert whenever I buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how you can use cover calls to generate consistent monthly cash flow, check out the video series, the link above in the description below entitled Covered Call Ops Trading with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.